Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial to teach you how to add your brand colors to Microsoft PowerPoint. So by now you probably know PowerPoint is a pretty cool tool, especially if you want to do presentations and trainings that pop. And if you go to Google and you search for PowerPoint templates, lots of cost-effective templates are out there that are really, really beautiful. The thing is, whether you're using a native slide presentation or you're buying a slide presentation, the one thing you need to do is to be able to brand it so that it looks like it came from your company or your business. So this tutorial is gonna teach you how to add colors and then I'm gonna do a series of other videos that will teach you how to do other things to brand your template. So if you're joining me for the first time, I am Jay Stone, Master Brand Strategist, and I help people build bankable brands. So let's get into this presentation. So I want to actually open a generic PowerPoint presentation. I've already opened it, added about four slides so you can see. Um, my brand colors are like blue and teal and orange and so it looks nothing like this. I kind of wanted to start from scratch with a color palette that I've never used before. So I went to one of my favorite color picking tools, which is coolers.co, that's C-O-O-L-O-R-S, coolers.co. And I just picked a random color palette right here in the middle, right? I don't know these colors. I don't have them. My clients don't have these colors. So I just picked these colors and this is what we're going to roll with. And I'm going to use these to edit the template. So back to PowerPoint. So the first thing you want to do, if you don't already know, you know, how to edit colors, let's just say I select this text and I wanted my colors to be white. I will go to the A and I would choose the white, right? And that's how I will change it. Um, and let's just do that here. And I already typed in test template. Let's just say I wanted this text to be a different color. The colors that you're seeing here now are already the theme colors. Okay, they're already the theme colors. Okay, and so let's just say I want this text pink. You'll see it there. You'll also be able to change shape colors for shapes here where you see the little bucket, and you'll be able to change colors for the inside shape of this. Say this. So if I wanted this to be maybe this dark color, it would change the inside shape of that color of that. So most people know how to change uh, font colors, they know how to change shape colors, and they know how to change outlines. So that's pretty simple. However, most people go the long route, which is we go here, we go to more color fills, and then we go in and select our hex color or RGB color, and we put the color. That is the long way to do it, okay? I'm going to teach you a short way where you only have to apply your template so here here it is the first thing you want to do is just to make sure that you have your brand colors accessible right and um, you need to have the hex colors and the RGB colors um, Microsoft Office likes RGB numbers so you need to have them but luckily for us right now we also have the option in PowerPoint to choose the hex color so the hexadecimal colors is basically the numbers that give you the specific color. So if you've ever seen anything, it's got these little, the little hashtag and then these numbers and letters. Those are the hexadecimal colors. Um, and they were initially created for the web, but lots of web-based softwares use them now. So a lot of people use hex colors. So a lot of softwares are starting to use them now. However, you do want to also have the RGB just in case you ever need them. All right, here's the next step design so if you look at the main menu and you click design when you click design you see things like themes right and these are actual themes that you can apply to change the look and feel you want to skip that and go over here to variants and select that drop down when you select that drop down for variants you will see colors right and then when you see colors you will see colors that you might have existing for clients right but then microsoft office has other colors that you can choose but what you want to do is to customize colors when you click customize colors then 
here's where you're going to create this new color palette. So the accent one is going to be the main color that you want to see your primary brand color. So you see when I select it, and I want to do that once more. You see when I select accent, I have the RGB option and the hex option, okay? So I'm going to go over here to coolers. I'm going to grab this blue-green color, right? Copy, right? And I'm using keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to copy, um, and it's either Control-C or Command-C, and then I'm going to paste that number here, right here. And I'm going to hit Enter and see this color down here changes, right? So once that happened, I also see that it changes. The accent color changed up here accent to all right then your secondary color is going to be uh your next most popular color your next most popular color in your color palette in this case i'm actually going to choose the orange because i'd like to see those two colors together and that pearl just kind of doesn't pop out so i'm going to hit paste and enter and you see that color change again and i'm going to keep going until i get through all the colors so the next color I want to choose is going to be I want to go ahead and choose this beige and drop that right in here the hex is the easiest one to change right now drop that in here all right that changed all right I'm gonna leave the gray and I'm gonna go to the accent because we've got another dark accent this black olive I'm gonna drop that in and you can have as many as six colors in your color palette. Um, I think it's important. And then sometimes you can repeat the colors that you have. And so I'm going to go down and I'm going to repeat the colors. I'm actually going to choose a variation of a variation of this light color, which is going to be this one right here. Okay, and I'll teach you guys how to use uh, coolers at another time. I'll have to do a whole separate tutorial on that because it's a pretty cool tool. All right, and then I'm going to hit enter. And then here's the important thing, guys. What color do you want your hyperlinks to be, right? And so you kind of want your hyperlinks to be bright. You want them to stand out. And so I'm going to go back and grab the orange for hyperlinks so that people can see the hyperlinks. So the brighter colors in your palette, um, again, I'm going to paste it and hit enter. Watch that color change. And then the follow hyperlinks, I'm going to leave that gray. And then I'm going to change this to test training colors, right? So you can change. And then I'm going to click save. And, and what, oh, I'm sorry, pay attention to this preview. This preview is showing you how these colors are going to look on a dark background and how they're going to look on a light background right now watch what happens when I click save I click save and it applied this to all the colors just gonna right it applied this to all and this is just now the colors okay this is just now the colors of the color palette boom you see mostly on the main one you see that teal then you see the orange then you see the gray and all of those and that's how you add your colors to the theme and here's the thing once you have it you can apply it to anything so if we go over here and look at the initial template that i was looking at as you can see it has my brand colors but guess what if i want to go i can go to design go over to variants colors and guess what test training colors i'm going to click that and it applied it to this entire color palette right so it got rid of my blue and it applied that okay so it's a pretty cool thing and like I said when you go in Word you'll also find the color palette um, when you go into Excel you'll also be able to find the color palette so it's pretty cool um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to comment share subscribe and once you subscribe hit the little bell so you can get the notifications and always know when I post new videos. Thanks so much. Catch you on the flip side.